How's this? This is good, David? Perfect. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, we're back in the Providence Kitchen. My name is still Michael Sorosti. This is uh, Providence on Voyage Week 2. Um, and this week we are in uh, or on the Amalfi Coast of Italy. Um, and so our main dish today is going to be a pasta mista, which we serve here sometimes at the restaurant for lunch. And um, I'm going to show you how we quickly put that together. Uh, to start, we have beautiful um, hiramasa crudo. So hiramasa is a um, is a yellowtail. It's a younger version of the yellowtail. So a little bit smaller than a booty. Um, still beautiful fish. Um, and this is coming to us uh, from Toyama Bay in Japan. And uh, so the crudo is here. It's going to be in this little container. You could eat it right out of this container if you want. It's up to you. Um, I would probably want to transfer it to a plate. It's got a little bit of a salad of wild arugula from Farmer Romeo at the farmer's market, some bronze fennel from the rooftop upstairs, some arugula blossoms, and some pickled turnips. So if you want to put it on a plate, you could just grab the fish and just sort of arrange it nicely on the plate like that. And then right beside it, you can just put these greens, the arugula, a little bit of shaved fennel, those little blossoms, however you like. Doesn't have to be too fancy. And again, if you feel like it, just eat it out of the tin. This is your game, this is your show. We're just helping you put it all together. So there's that. And then here, we have a lovely little vinaigrette, which is made with a bunch of different citrus from here in California. Their juice, some California olive oil, and a little bit of a colatora, which is a Roman fish sauce. And you just spoon that right over the fish itself. And you can put a little bit of the dressing on the greens as well. Just like that. And then, We've uh, provided a little bit of Malden salt as well, which is right here. Or actually, it's Fleur de Sel today. And you can just put a little tiny bit on the fish, a little tiny bit on the greens, bring it to the table for your guests, and enjoy. And if you like, you don't even have to give Providence credit. You can just say you whipped all this up all by yourself. All right? So that's our first dish. Next, we're going to make the pasta. Okay, so next. So now for our pasta, these are all the elements. So we have a uh, pasta mista, which is uh, made by our good friends, uh, the Trouble Brothers. So you have five different shapes of pasta in there. Some are black, which means they're uh, made with uh, cuttlefish ink. And some are just regular egg pasta. We have beautiful sea urchin from Sea Stephanie Fish, right off the coast of Santa Barbara, she caught that. And then in here, we have a treasure trove of shellfish from both the coast of California and from Maine. So lobster from Maine, squid from uh, California, uh, mussels from California. These uh, clams are from Washington State and then we have beautiful Santa Barbara spot prawn. A little bit of California olive oil and then we have a broth that's made from the cooking of all this shellfish. So we use the heads of the prawns, the heads of the lobster, the cooking liquid from the mussels and the clams and the squid and it's all in here with a compote of tomato that we made with us, uh, celebrity tomatoes from the farmer's market. So very simply, we have water on the boil over here. In our recipe, we tell you to use two quarts of water and then the amount of kosher salt that's provided. Just drop that in the water and then drop the pasta. Start a timer for three and a half minutes. That's all you gotta do. Now, take the broth. The broth goes into any kind of skillet. This is enough for one pasta. If you're making two pastas, you could, you could put it in the same pot, just obviously choose a slightly larger pot. Bring that to a boil. That's all you gotta do. You can add a little bit of this extra virgin olive oil that we provide now, and then we'll finish it with a little bit more olive oil at the end. Now you'll notice you also have a container of basil. You have beautiful opal basil and green basil as well. So these leaves are cleaned. All you gotta do is tear them up with your hands. Don't even, don't even bother chopping them with a knife. Just use your hands. Just like grandma would do, just like that. So while the pasta is cooking, I want to tell you a little story about the inspiration behind it. 
on the Amalfi Coast is a beautiful little town called Vico e Puente. And in Vico e Puente, there's a two Michelin star restaurant there. The chef, his name is Gennaro Esposito. The restaurant is called La Torre de Serracino. And the restaurant is built around a 14th century mill uh, that has always been standing there in the town of Vico e Puente. And Chef Esposito he built this beautiful restaurant there. It's earned two Michelin stars. And he serves a pasta mista there, which is the inspiration for this dish. So Gennaro makes his dish with fish that come from the small boats that fish the area right around the restaurant. And he makes that pasta with whatever they bring in that day. His pasta mista is made with dry pasta. There's several different shapes, all designed to cook in the same amount of time, just like these are. And then he just simply tosses that pasta with a beautiful broth a few little pieces of local fish and shellfish, and the whole thing is served at the table with just a spoon. The reason being, everything is small, nothing needs to be cut, everything fits on a spoon, so you just eat it just like that. The reason I want to prepare this dish for our En Voyage this week, because it's one of the most comforting dishes that I've ever eaten, and right now, at this moment, we could all use a little bit of comfort. And so that is the inspiration behind this dish and this meal. So here we go. It's been about three and a half minutes that I've been talking at you. The pasta is now cooked, so we can drain it. You can drop a little bit of the pasta water into the pan and then drop the pasta in the pan. Take all of our shellfish, except for the sea urchin, and drop it right in there, along with whatever juices might be in the bottom of the pan. So that's all good stuff. Now, we're going to take all of the basil, the opal basil and the green basil, drop it right in there as well. Just toss it around. This pasta, like most Italian uh, shellfish pastas, are meant to be just a little bit brothy. This pasta especially, it's excellent when, when served nice and brothy. Because we put so much work and so much time into all the elements that go into the pasta itself, the broth is incredibly rich, very satisfying in flavor, and you want to have quite a bit of it. So I'm going to finish with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And we want to just keep tossing the pasta a little bit until we see the noodles have just a brilliant and beautiful shine on them, which takes maybe about a minute. It helps the pasta just sort of like come together. Of course, we'll give it a little taste. Now, with this pasta, if the broth tastes good, the pasta tastes good. That's the key to it. So it's very simple. The amount of salt we gave you is calibrated to the amount of water that you're cooking the pasta in. The broth is already seasoned. The shellfish doesn't need any salt. So if you bring all these elements together, just reduce it a tiny bit once the pasta is cooked in the pan, the dish will be delicious. Just like we serve in here. So now, the last thing we're going to do is take these uh, two, couple of pieces of sea urchin and just drop them in the pan. Just let them warm through just a little bit. That's it. And now we're ready to plate. All right, ready? Yep. OK, so here we go. In order to plate this, nothing fancy. As a matter of fact, if you want to just like dump it all in the bowl like that, I won't be mad at you. At the end of the day, we just need to get it all there. And there's so many beautiful colors between the basil and the tomato and all the shellfish that you really don't need to worry about presentation. Lastly, I just finished with like a little bit, little drizzle of this extra virgin olive oil that we gave you. Bring it to the table and enjoy. Buon appetito. Okay, so here we go. There's our crudo, here's our pasta, pasta mista. It's gonna also be served with this beautiful focaccia that our pastry chef made for you. And uh, a lovely tiramisu. What could be more Italian than that? When I asked Donato, uh, the infamous Donato Poto, what we should make for the dessert, he said, well, you can't get more Italian than uh, tiramisu. So we went with tiramisu. And of course, Donato is from the Amalfi Coast. So no one knows better than Donato. And then lastly, for a little uh, after dessert, we made, uh, or Mac rather, our pastry chef made sfogliatella. Sfogliatella. Or sfogliatella, if you're from Jersey like me, filled with uh, almond and fennel. Once again, I want to thank you for supporting Providence. Um, in just a few weeks, we'll be celebrating our 15th year of business, and it seems odd to celebrate that date without anyone in the restaurant. But it's encouraging that we've had such great support for these meals, our Providence on Voyage series. 
we'll be releasing the next version um, on Saturday at some point, so look for that. And we hope to see you again here inside the restaurant very soon. Thank you very much. Buon appetito. Ciao.